Hello? She's okay? Yeah. Hello, do you hear and see me clearly? Yeah. Okay, so for... This is our third class together, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, good morning over there. What, what time is it in California right now? It's 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Did you just wake up? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. I wake up at 4.30 at a.m. At what? Five? Um, four thirty. Four thirty. Yeah. Wow, that's too early. All right. Anyway, uh, for today or for yeah for today you have requested travel and culture. See the world, and the yeah. title is Slovenia, a European gem. <coughs> so, just like what we did uh, yesterday, I'm going to read each word, the meaning, and its examples, and then please repeat after me, okay? Okay. Okay, first is overlook. Overlook means to fail. To notice or be aware of something. To for to not notice or be aware of something. Okay, you've overlooked one very important fact. You've overlooked one very important fact. Okay, next, uh, cannon. Cannon. A large heavy gun typically on wheels that was used in the past to fire stone or metal balls. A large heavy gun typically on wheels oh, that was used in the past to fire stone or metal ball. Okay. In front of the museum, Visitors can see large cannons that were used in World War I. A large, uh, no, in front of the museum, you can see large cannons that were used in World War I. Okay, next, a dorm mouse. Dorm mouse. Okay, a small Animal similar to a mouse but with a long furry tail. A small animal to a mouse but with a long furry tail. The report states that Dormouse population is in decline. The report states that the Dormouse population is in decline. Okay, next is delicacy. Delicacy. Okay, uh, a type of food that is considered special in a particular place or culture. A type of food that is considered special in a particular place or culture. Okay. This is considered a delicacy in some Southeast Asian countries. Uh, th this is considered a delicacy in some Southeast as, uh, Asian constituent countries. Southeast countries. Asian countries. Southeast uh, Asian, Asian countries. Mm -hmm. Asian. Okay. Okay, so, Shusuke, we are done now uh, with our um, first exercise. Do you have any questions before we proceed? Uh, no. No. Uh, okay. So, um, let's have the second exercise, our article reading. So, just like what we did... I'm going to read each paragraph and then please repeat after me. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Slovenia, an overlooked European gem. The Republic of Slovenia is a small country that sits between <coughs> Italy, Hungary, Croatia, and the Adriatic Sea. Often overlooked as a tourist destination, Slovenia is a beautiful mountainous country with impressive rivers, forests, and a stunning coastline. Okay, Slovenia, an overlooked European gel. The Republic of Slovenia is a small country that sits between Italy and Hungary, at Croatia, 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 and the Adriatic. Adriatic Sea often overlooked as a tourist destination. Slovenia is a beautiful mountain country. Mountain countries yeah, with impressive river forests and stunning coastline. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, ho hold on. Let me uh, see the correct pronunciation of this. Mm. One moment. Global John. Hold on. Now let me uh, search for the correct pronunciation. Okay. One moment. Jibaljana. Jibaljana. Jolbi Jolbijana. Jolbijana. So I just found out the pronunciation of this one. Jolbi Jolbijana, the capital. Jolbi <laughs> Jolbijana, the capital and largest city of Slovenia. Jolbi Jolbijana is an ancient human gathering place. <laughs> the area was first settled in 2000 BC and important artifacts have been found there, including the oldest wooden wheel in the world. Today, the modern city is a busy cultural center filled with beautiful architecture and history. Above the city sits Jolbi Jolbijana Castle. <laughs> which still occasionally fires its cannons to mark important visitors and events. Jobby Jovana, the capital of largesty of Germany. Jobby Jovana is an ancient human gathering place. The air was first set in the 2000 BC. An important artifact have been found there includes the oldest wooden wheel in the world. Today is a modern city, a busy cultural, cen mm -hmm. cultural center filled with beautiful architecture of, and history. Above the city is the Jovi Georgiana Castle, which is still oh, wait still organizing the fire its cannon to mark important visitors and events. <clears throat> okay, next. Lake Bled. Not far Lake from Jolbi Jolbijana, Lake Bled is surrounded by mountains and forests. A, f a regular host of the World Rowing Championships, the lake contains a small island on which a 17th century church sits. Still a regular location for weddings, it's considered good luck for the groom to carry the bride up the 99 steps to the island's 52-meter high tower after the ceremony. Our lake bed, not far from Jovi Georgiana, lake bed is sounded by mount a mountain and forest. Lake across the river, rowing, camp, 
championship, the lake contains a small island on, on which are 7th century, 70th mm. century church sit. Still a regular location for weddings. It's considered the good luck for a groom to carry the beach up the 99 step to the island to 52 meter high tower after the ceremony. Okay. Next. <clears throat> Triglav National Park. This national park is the home of Mount Triglav, the highest mountain in the country and an important symbol of Slovenian culture. Other points of interest include Slovenia's largest lake, Lake Bohinj and the Boca Waterfall, which is over 100 meters tall. Okay, Tree Grove National Park. This national park is home <coughs> of Mount Tree Grove, the highest mountain in the country and an um, important symbol of Slovenian culture. Other point in interest includes Slovenia's Lake Arbon. Wait, what? Lake Bohinj. Bohinj and the Bok Waterfall, which is over 100 meters tall. <clears throat> okay. Next, Postojna Cave. This Postojna. massive cave system is over 24 kilometers long. A popular tourist location since it was first visited by. Archduke Ferdinand in 1819. The caves were formed over millions of years by underground rivers and are home to unique ecosystems and the world's only underground post office. If you're in the area, make sure to check out Bridge Jama Castle as well. Okay, position cave. The massive cave system is over a 24 kilometer long, a popular tourist location since it was the first visited by Archibald Fed Germany in 1890 when the cave were formed over Miam. Of air and the underground river and the home in cog ecosystem and the world only underground pass office. If you're in the area, make sure you to check out Pajama Castle and well as well. Okay. <clears throat> Next, the wildfire. Slovenia is only 0.004% of the Earth's surface area, but it contains 1% of the world's known organisms, making it a fantastic place for lovers of the natural world. Spot an om, a blind cave salamander, which lives its entire life underground. Or see an alpine ibex, a mountain goat with huge curved horns, you could even snack on an edible dorm house, dormouse, <clears throat> an ancient Roman delicacy, still traditionally trapped by Slovenians today. Slovenia is only 0.004% of the associated area, but contains 1% of the world known organism, and making a fantastic. fantastic a place for a river of the natural water spot and arm a building cave ceremony which leaves its entire life underground or say an alpine, alpine ibex alpine ibex, ibex a mountain goal with huge curved horn you could ever snack on an 
Edible. Edible. Dormouse. Dormouse. An ancient Roman delicacy, still traditionally trapped by Slovenians today. today. Okay. Okay, so Shusuke, we are done now. Do you have any questions before we proceed? Um, no. None so far? Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm going to uh, check. I mean, I'm going to ask you questions based from the article that we just read. Okay, number one. When was... Jubi Jojana first settled. Our uh, it's uh, the the year was first settled in uh two thousand two thousand BC. Okay, correct. Two thousand BC. Number two, what international competition does Lake Bled regular regularly host? Uh, a regular host of the World Rowing Championship today contains some I don't know which other okay. 19th century church seats. Actually, um, the competition or the international competition is called the World Rowing Championship. Yeah. Okay. Number three. What are some of the unique features of Posnojna Cave? Um, okay. Uh, our, the whole unique ecosystem under were only underground post office. Okay, correct. So the caves are home to unique <coughs> ecosystems and the world's only underground post office. Okay, so all right, um, she's okay. We are done now. Do you have any questions before we proceed? Uh, no. All right. Now let's have the discussion part. Our exercise for. Number one, have you ever been to Slovenia? Just okay. If so, please share your experience. If not, would you like to? I want to go to there. Mm -hmm. Slovenia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, well, you're still young and you still have plenty of years ahead of you to visit other countries. So I'm pretty sure you might as well do that in the future. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so number two, which of the places featured in the article would you most like to visit and why? Hmm. It's like a Jewish uh, Rana and uh, and the bread, bread lake lake bread and the tree grove and national park and the Bostonia are mm -hmm. Bostonia okay <clears throat> okay all right yeah those are very uh, great places in Slovenia. I'm just curious, Shizuke, aside from traveling to United States, have you been to Europe before with your family? Yeah, I, I, been, I went to City Harbor. What? What city? Uh, what, what place again? Uh, Germany, France, uh, Liechtenstein, Switzerland. Mm hmm. Austria and Luxembourg. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> if given the opportunity, 
Would you be willing to try edible dormouse? And why? Why or why not? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think it would um, be disgusting or taste good? <laughs> Okay. So this is dormice. Dormouse or dormice. This one. あ、こういうやつらしい。これ食べれるらしいよ。スルボキアだよね。あのね、おやつとして食べる。ジョビジョジャナ。<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <Jul-bi jul-jana. laughs> Where are weddings typically held in your country? So, since Japan is your home country, Shusuke. Yeah. Um uh where are weddings typically held? I don't know. <laughs> okay. How about there in Mountain View, California? Um, it's like a church. Just church? Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. No garden? <laughs> I don't garden know. church? Uh, garden wedding? I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay, so what interesting creatures can visitors, uh, sorry, what interesting creatures can visitors to your country expect to find? Is it Japan or United States? Mm-hmm. In Japan. Ah, uh, hey. Okay, um, let's, um, is it okay if we, uh, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so let's have further discussion. Have you been overseas a lot? Uh, I'm not going to ask this because you said that you've been to Europe and you are in the United States right now. Uh, number two, have you been to any of your country's national parks? If so, please share your experience. If not, if not which ones would you like to visit? Uh, okay, number two. No, number two. Ah, okay. In the America, I went to the uh, say no, six times, seven, six or seven times. I went to the national park. Mm-hmm. I in uh, the school in the other. In the Japan, I don't know about that. I, I don't remember. <laughs> Yellowstone in United States is considered as national park. But I, I, yeah, but I didn't went to this one, uh, that one, because mm-hmm. it's too far from here. It's a uh, need a uh, car. Uh, it's 
Okay, it's a um, 50 mm. hour, 50 hour for a car. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, that's totally understandable. Okay, so would you describe yourself as a lover of the natural world? Why or why not? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, number four, which of your country's traditional meals or delicacy do you think every country tourist Every foreign tourist should try. Okay, in Japan, it's like a Japanese food restaurant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like ramen, sushi. Sushi, yeah. <laughs> Sashimi. <laughs> yeah. Yakisoba. Like Soba. Like that. Yeah. Buckwheat. Yeah, like buckwheat. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a soba. Okay. So, um, are any places in your country often overlooked by tourists? If so, which of these places would you recommend visiting? In the castle, it's Ishiotoshi or Sama or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's under, it's like a half roof. It's a small roof. Like that? Mm -hmm. I think so. All right. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Shusuke, our time is over now. I hope that you have learned something from our discussion and I hope that you also enjoyed our lecture, okay? Yeah. Especially, wow. the, especially, Jolbana. <laughs> 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 okay, so. Anyway, uh, I hope you would have a great morning ahead of you. And have you taken mm. your breakfast? Uh, no. Okay, so just take your breakfast and enjoy your day. Bye for now. See you soon. Bye. Anata wa watashi no tomodachi desu. Domo arigato sayonara. Okay.